Terry on in a moment. To my right, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Vassy, along with Spiro Sirion, his latest find, and I'm quite certain you are proud indeed of the accomplishments of Spiro Sirion thus far. McMahon, I know you hate to have interview us, due to the fact that thousands and thousands of letters have arrived, and they said they want to listen to me and Spiro Sirion, and that's the reason we're out here. You know, everybody's been saying Blassie's army's on a rampage. We're not only on a rampage, but we're on a move. Here's the man, as you well know, that I took after everybody else was trying to keep him under wraps, undercover, never gave him the opportunity to prove what a great wrestler he was. And I took him and I shaped him and molded him into the most vicious man in the profession today. Spears Arion, who also comes from royalty over in Athena. You know where Athena is? That to these pencil neck geeks out there is means Athens, Greece. Now, the Arion family has more money than Arnathus and this other pencil neck geek, Narikas and Nordakakas, Nordakakas or whatever his name is. They own Thank about you. 500 oil tankers between them. Well, if the family of the Arion took all their ships off the ocean, the ocean would go right down the drain. And it'd sink. Ha, 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 Is any of this at all true, Spiro Syria? Of course it's true. Mr. Freddy Blush, the perfection is talking. And one more thing I want to tell you, Mr. McMahon. A person like me, it's hard to be a humble. You know why? When you're as great as I am, that's why it's very hard to be a humble. Do you try to be humble? I can't, because nature was very cruel towards me. She left me no room for improvement. How about that? <laughs> What do you see in Spiros Arion now what? in the way of uh, his abilities that perhaps he did not have before when he was previously here in the World Wide Wrestling Federation? What do I see in Spiros Arion now? He is heartless. It makes no difference who is in his line of the path. He'll punch him right in the nose to get to that title. And I guarantee you that's what he's here for. It makes no difference. Superstar Billy Graham, I hope you're listening. And I'll tell this pencil neck geek over here, Bob Backlund, that little old refugee from college, and then this pencil neck geek that's running around with a rag over his head, also known as Mil Moskers, and also this other pencil neck geek, this guy that runs around with a hood with a bunch of sequins on him, and he is also known as the dream. He is known to me as a nightmare. And then you got a bunch of other pencil neck geeks like Tony Gurria, Larry Zabisco, Dominic Nose Danuccio, this guy here, Dominic Danuccio, and this guy, Chief J. Strongbow, were swinging me one time over in Hawaii, and somebody said, sharks, sharks, but it was only Strongbow and Danucci swimming on her back with their nose sticking out of the water. <laughs> you, you, you find that quite funny, Mr. Blasi? Do I find that funny? My millions and millions of fans also think that it is very funny because it's the truth and I only speak the truth and I am only in a business for one thing I'm not here to make friends I'm not here to do anything but make money and the only way you can make money is by winning your matches and with this man here I know he's gonna bring me all the marbles but why attack an individual like Jay Strongbow or Dominic Gnucci from a personal standpoint from physical characteristics if you're going to attack them why not attack them from their abilities well, or the wrestle and certainly you well, must grant that they are great wrestlers I apologize. Strongbow and Danucci, I'm sorry I said that about you. Really, I am. But I know for a fact, one time they started out for a trip. They left Philadelphia and were going to Manhattan. And right as they got out of Philadelphia, there was a big sign, clean restrooms. By the time they got to Manhattan, they cleaned 142 restrooms. <laughs> <laughs> they're not only ugly, they're stupid. Mr. Arion, how do you feel being associated with uh, Fred Blassie? Freddy Blassie, he's the judge and he's the jury. He decides who's to live and who's to die inside there. And I am the executioner. I am the perfection of wrestling. That's why I don't have to be humble, because I am the perfection. I know what I'm doing. I don't need nobody and I'm not scared of nobody. I proved it before, I'm going to prove it in the future. 
We are out of time. You've been listening to Spirit Host Arion and Fred Brassley. We shall return in a moment.